Hi, this is a tutorial for the flat map animation. So to customize this, we're going to first go to our project panel, go to the all graphs folder, and we're going to look for the flat map graph, which is right here, twirl that down, and let's double click on the flat map graph render. And in this render comp, you can change your text in the main title. And to do that, you will double click on the text layer and you'll see it become highlighted. Now you can edit that. There we go. And if you want to change the font or the colors or the sizing, you can go to the character panel. You can choose your new font. You can choose a new color with the color picker, or you can change the size in here as well. Same thing for the second line of text. You just repeat that, double click it to edit that. And in this composition, we have a camera, we have a light that's generating these shadows on the map. And we also have our wipes that are creating the transition from the map and the background and the pattern. So if you wanted to make this uh, chart on screen a little bit longer, um, you would need to move the wipes. So if you select this geometric wipe from center layer, hold down command or control, and select all of them, then we're going to simply just drag them down in the timeline. There we go. If we go to our camera layer and hit U on your keyboard, you'll bring up the, the keyframes for the camera movement and then you can just move those down as well. And that will extend this uh, the timing of this to a little bit longer than what it is right now. So now let's edit the data on our map. So we'll wanna to go to the Enter Flat Map Data Here composition which is um, in our project panel, or you can just simply double click it in the timeline. Click, click, and then it opens up. All right, so let's take a look at this setup. We have a control layer, and this is where you would edit the data for the location dots. Um, and these are actually animated from zero to um, whatever number you enter. So these are keyframed. So what you wanna do is go to the enter data here layer, hit U on your keyboard, and you're going to double click on the second keyframe for each circle. So we're going to double click on this one and we have a slider control that opens up and let's say we want to change that to 25. Hit OK. And as you can see way back here our Oregon dot changed to 25. We have map controls that control the rotation of the entire animation. So you can control the rotation for each dot well, for all of the dots, actually. There we go. And you can change the rotation for the map as well. So if you wanted that an angle differently, this is where you would do it in the map controls. We're gonna undo all of that. Okay. And our next control uh, layer is called the text controls. And this is where you can turn on and off uh, the location dots. So let's say you only had eight. You would just turn off nine and 10. Or you can turn off one and two, really doesn't matter. You can turn off any of them. And their location dots, their text, and their data percent, they, those all disappear. You can also change the location dot size. So if you wanted these to be bigger, they get bigger. And if you want to change the number size, you can go up here to our control panel and make those a little bit bigger. There you go. And all of our uh, text layers are controlled with the character panel. So if you go to them, you can make those a little bit bigger or smaller. And if we go back to our text controls, um, you can also turn on and off the prefix and the suffix number or symbol. And if you wanted to change those, you would go to the timeline. You see this layer called type prefix here and type suffix here. And if you change any of these um, text layers, if you double click this one text layer, let's just put anything there. Let's put a P. If you change one, they all are, are uh, changed as well. So you don't have to change each and every one. You just change one and they are all connected together. And the same for the suffix as well. 
So our last control panel is the color controls and you can change the text and symbol color here. So if you want to change that, you can do that. You can change the circle color or the outside color. And you can change the inside color and the pie color, which is our bar that's being animated, like our percent bar, you can change that also. There you go, you can get a totally different look if you want to. And now to change the map in the background, if we go to our flat map graph uh, folder, you can double click on the replace flat map here composition. And that's also located at the bottom of the timeline that we are, uh, have open right now. So either way, you can just double click and that opens up. This is a USA map, which is included, but you can put in any map you want.